These ponies have been run wild over on Assateague since the 16th century. Now the ponies are world famous. Go, go, go! They're so, they're so raw. We want to keep the herd down to a manageable level. We swim them over. We sell off the yellow. We sell off the foals. Seven fifty. What do you make, man? What do you make here? What do you make? What do you make? What do you make? One hundred seven. What do you make? All in. All done. Yes. Sold it. Sold it. Sold it. I'm crying, the auctioneer's crying, God's crying. Everybody's crying. It's a, it's a fantastic time. I love my pony. That little foal, little Philly girl. My little ching ching pony. This is, this is what happens with a piece of the wind. We're at the Equus Film Festival and on our last day to see the films and the wonderful film that we just saw was The Wild Ponies of the Ching Wild Ponies of Ching Chink. Yeah, the, the locals pronounce it Shinkati. Shinkati. Oh, which is an Indian name. You know what's interesting is that is a word, maybe it's mispronounced, but it's a word that so many people know. But first of all, I want you to introduce yourself so that we can let the audience know who's here. I'm Kirk Kulaya. I'm Todd Mazzaro. And what did you do for the company? Boy. Everything. Yeah, everything. We did everything. Other than um, the music, the color, and the uh, mix. And Kurt did most of it. Uh, we're co-directors. He did all the editing. We both shared producing. Um, but I, I have to give most of the credit to Kurt for the heavy creative lift that we just pushed the rocks <laughs> in front of us. All right, so let's talk about the film a little bit. Sure. Go ahead. It's, um, it's a story of a place, Chicopeak Island, and a neighboring island, Assateague Island, off the coast of Virginia. Uh, there's a herd of wild ponies that live there. They're owned by a volunteer fire department. And to um, keep the population in check, they sell off foals uh, every spring. That keeps the numbers down so they can keep the herd healthy. And the part that I love is the water when they come through the water. Yeah, it's right? one of those few yeah, places yeah, yeah. on earth where you get to go and witness wild ponies swimming. So every year they round them up on the island of Assateague and they swim them across an open channel to Chinkatig Island and walk them through the town to prepare for the auctioning of the foals. Now let's talk about those three days, sort of just before the auction. How long before do they bring them in? They start on, I think, Monday, I believe it is. Yep. And they work, they round them up, they hold them in a pen. They walk them through, no, 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 they round them up, they walk them down the beach, they hold them in a pen, then they walk them through town to, so you can see, to, the, uh, to the carnival grounds where they're held in a pen. So it's like, it's, it's a, a four-day thing. Four-day thing. Okay. It's a big, long and process. And it's becoming, how many people come to visit that? What? 40,000. Unbelievable, right? Yeah. It's a big deal. I mean, it's National huge. Geographic did a cover story about it. And as Ro, one of the guys in the film, Ro Terry, um, says people have come from around the world to film it. And, and it's the, is it the babies or is it the? It's the babies. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. part. That's the, the part actually the yeah. When I was watching it, that was the part that I actually learned. Because I didn't think it was the babies. I thought it was any of the horses. They keep the... Uh, the adults there is brood stuff. So, okay. so it's self generated. So yeah, 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 right, 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 right. And you know, the one part that I really enjoyed was the feather hunt. I mean, oh, that's right. an extension of what you do, but it's a beautiful thing. So let's talk about that. The feather fund um, supports kids who are going to buy a home. Maybe they don't have enough cash. So the feather fund does all kind of crazy things. They have bake sales, they knit scarves, they do anything that they can do to get enough cash together to help a kid, the kid's got to put some skin in the game to, to buy the pony. So those chosen kids who have to go through some hoops to get, they don't, they don't just pick them out of nowhere. Um, they do a, an essay, first of all, they have to know what they're about when it comes to adopting a horse. They've got to have some smarts about that. They've got to have um, parental permission and a place to keep them. So at that point, the uh, Feather Fund will say, okay, you're in. 
we've chosen you and maybe you, maybe just one kid, but I think they tried two. Uh, we just have a, a pair of twins, we're lucky enough for that. And um, those two they are they allowed are allowed more the, the, on the cute meter, they're way over in the way. <laughs> they're just, allowed. Yeah, they shouldn't be allowed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. They were doing both. They're sweet. So that's a fun They help those kids with the cash that it takes to the ball. And then how many ponies are there that you usually sell each year? Anywhere from 50 to 70. It just depends on how successful you know, the herd has been in uh, propagating. Because the, the, the wild ponies live on Assateague, which is part of the National Park Service. And the National Park Service has done ecological studies, environmental studies, and said the herd can't be any bigger than 150. So they base the number sold based on the number in the herd, and they have to get down to 150 at the end of pony time. And then is there something special they do with that money? Is it just to support the land and stuff? No, no, no. it's all for the fire department. Right. The volunteer fire department of Chickatee Island owns the herd. And so they, there's no fire tax of any sort. So all the money for the operation of the fire department is funded by Pony Swim and Pony Week and the Carnival and all those activities. Okay, so now why did you do two take on this project? We, Todd and I did it, uh, another project completely unrelated to this ages ago. And we shot 35 millimeter films of the stuff, you know, in stock. And that project just kind of evaporated and went away. Todd was smart enough to pick up the exposed negative. And we hung on to it, promising ourselves we would do something more. Well, Todd lives in Los Angeles. I live in Maryland. So it's very easy to say, next year. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But finally, we, OK, we're going to do it. And we still didn't have, all we had were pictures. We didn't have a story. We had. Pretty pictures, pretty 35 millimeter pictures, most of that's silent. But that's all we had. So until we found the feather fund to lead us into a couple of kids who were going to get a pony, we didn't have it. Once we got that, then we run. Then we have the story. And you know, the main thing that um, the main impetus for doing this is because we love that place. Well, yes, the place is spectacular. We love those ponies, and and we looked for the right story. And, yeah, as Kurt said, the feather fun was the thing. It was the trigger. To tell the story through the eyes of oh girls my gosh. who want a pony. These girls that were so excited, it meant so much, and they're cheering, and the people are telling you, don't, don't, let, don't bid against them. Let them have it. Let them yeah, have right. that money, right? That was really yeah. cool. Yeah. So if you look back now at this project, what, for each of you, what, what's the most special part of it for you? Meeting people. Easily. Meaning, being welcomed in, really. Because unless the fire department, unless the town of Chinti, and unless Sabrina and the twins let us in, we'd have nothing. So that's all oh, truly the best. Yeah. For you? That's sort of all of it. Just the idea of being able to capture a story, being able to tell a story that has some meaning. Uh, as Kurt said, I agree completely with that. The fun is, and the, the treat and the treasure is being able to participate in these people's lives in a really kind of intimate way for them to reveal to us the things they reveal, like Sabrina revealing to Kurt the, her depression. Um, and that added immediately a layer of such depth. And we sort of feel like Kurt's editing genius of weaving the stories allows us to visit a place, know a place, and hear a personal story that ends with positive, positive yes. message. Yeah. And the message is people need help, and people can be helped, and they can come out of those dark places and live a fantastic life. And so that, it's the whole thing for me. To be trusted with that. Right. It's remarkable. Exactly. For, that, for that girl who's 16, to, to know that we're not going to jump her. We're not going to sensationalize it. We're not going to. It's a safe place for her to reveal these place, emotional exactly, deaths. Yeah. And the mom. And that's, you know, that's a testament to. Because yeah. she didn't tell us. She told the camera. Yeah. So she could tell the world. somebody yeah, else. Yeah. That, exactly. You know what? She was, she was felt safe enough to be able to do that. She trusted Kurt. Yeah. Which was fantastic. So people wanted to see this film? Is there a way that they can get to it? Well, they should go to our Facebook page, okay. the Wild Ponies of Chickatee Facebook page, like us, and we're going to be posting distribution 
there once we find some. Yeah. And do you have any final words? Uh, it was really fun to be here in New York City at the Atmos Film Festival, and we appreciate you having us. And we appreciate that you showed that film, and that film will probably go on tour with us. We go, we'll be in Oregon, we'll be in South Carolina, we, we're actually in Los in, Angeles. We, you know what? We've got to, we have to do a Los Angeles tour well, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to create There's that. Huge Let's horse. do it. Huge oh, absolutely. Horse. I mean, we, we really are. We were in Trion this year. Yeah. We're in Austria. Or even France. Delmar, where the racetrack is. Delmar, yeah, I've done events together. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you both yeah, for joining thanks. us and being part of this year's episode. See you again. Yeah. Thanks.